Hey, welcome to Life with Miss D. I'm at my son's house and I'm trying to help with his uh, yard. So I'm trying to help with the garden. And I just wanted to show you, uh, we went to Home Depot and Walmart and we found some shrubbery and some plants. And so this is what we have. We have some, first of all, let me start at the back. We have some boxwood, winter green 2288 so he needs some shrubbery for the landscape so we got two and he's digging the hole to put the boxwoods in and then we have some knockout roses in this beautiful red the double knockout so a little bit deeper knockout uh double knockout roses and they're disease resistant and they're roses for every day they are hardy hardy to zone 5 through 11 and uh they take full sun and what else cherry red is the color and I hope I bought two cherry reds. I hope I did. Yeah, they're both cherry reds. I was trying to make sure. So we're going to be planting those. And we got some annuals, some begonias. And they were $3.47 at Walmart. And begonias normally do pretty good. And then we have some daylilies that we're going to put in the ground to bloom for the summer. We have the Frosted Vintage Ruffles Daylily. And it's like a yellow with a little orange around the uh, petals at the end or the perimeter. And we have flocks, creeping flocks in this beautiful hot pink color, $6.98 for the creeping flocks. And it's a perennial. And so we mostly have perennials, shrubs, and bulbs that will come back. And so, uh, you'll take the plant out of the black container. But yeah, that's that's the perfect size, perfect. So he's getting that planted. Right like that, you're doing it. That's it, there you go. And so that new dirt that we got, we'll put that in there and around it. And so we're gonna have this little flower bed. We're gonna get it in shape. Of course, we bought some garden soil and we bought some brown mulch. So we're gonna get this flower bed in order. I'm trying to see if I can show you exactly what we're working with here. So we're gonna get this in order and um, we'll take it one day at a time. And uh, we can add more plants later, add more shrubs, add more roses, we can add to it later but this is just to get it started all right make sure you like comment and subscribe and let me put the camera down and start helping because i gotta pull some weeds and get ready to lay down some soil okay we've got everything planted in the ground and we mulched it but we didn't have quite enough mulch but as you can see everything's in the ground and my son will go to Home Depot and get some more of that brown mulch and finish putting the mulch. I wish I could show you the actual finished product, but I'm not gonna be here, I'm leaving. And so, uh, this is what we have. As again, you can see that the knockout roses have been planted. This is a pretty big flower bed and I underestimated the size of this flower bed when I went shopping when we went shopping today. But as you can see, it's gonna be beautiful. And next time I come back, I will definitely give you an update on everything. But everything has been planted in the ground. It just needs to finish getting mulched. And also we planted some pastas. We planted some pastas and some, um, lilies let me see i think i have a package to show you what we planted we planted these hostas this is called the 
Patriot Hosta. We planted two of these. There's one that we planted right there. And then we planted the, uh, let me get we it. We planted the Stargazer Lily as well in this other uh, flower bed. And this flower bed is gonna be more of a shade flower bed because this big tree here, this huge tree will give, provide shade. So just wanted to share the progress that we've made, made a lot of progress. There's already some lilies here. Can't wait to see them bloom. They were already here. So looking forward to that, to see what those gonna look like when they bloom. Thank you again for watching Life with Miss D.